Irving police say two women charged with helping a man get away with a double murder paid someone a hundred bucks to help them get rid of evidence. The women were arrested, but the suspected murderer remains on the loose tonight. Fox 4's Amelia Jones live at the Dallas County Jail with more Amelia. Steve, police documents say the murder suspect, Hector Paguada, drove off in an SUV after he allegedly shot and killed a mother and daughter. That SUV is how police tracked down two women accused of helping Paguada get rid of it. Irving police are closer to piecing together what happened inside this apartment, where 29-year-old Nieli Balanios Medina and her mom, 56-year-old Juana Medina Rodriguez, were shot and killed. The murders happened on January 19th, and the suspect, 33-year-old Hector Paguada, also known as Hector Matute, remains on the run. Newly released police documents say Medina's five-year-old son witnessed the shooting and told investigators Paguada killed the two women in front of him as they were fighting. According to police, Paguada was Medina's boyfriend. Through witness interviews, investigators learned the two had been in several fights over a car title, which she purchased from Paguada. Police say after the shooting, security footage shows Paguada run out of the apartment and drive off in a Nissan Pathfinder SUV. This is when police believe Paguada got help from 34-year-old Nicole Martinez Tome and his sister, 30-year-old Yudi Mabel Paguada Ruiz. The registered address of the SUV was to the home shared by Paguada, Tome, and their children. Tome told investigators Paguada called her the night of the murders and ultimately admitted to her that he killed two women that Friday night. Tome worked with Paguada and his sister to get rid of the SUV. They asked one of Tomei's former employees to move it. When police spoke with the woman who moved the car, she told them, quote, they offered to pay her $100 to do so. Police say both women gave directions on where to take the SUV in an attempt to hide the vehicle and any evidence inside it. The documents say the driver wasn't aware of the murders until after she met with Tomei to get paid. Police found the SUV, but we don't know if any evidence was recovered. Both women were arrested and charged with tampering with evidence with intent to impair an investigation. We don't know if either woman told police where to find Paguada. Nicole Martinez Tome bonded out of jail, but Yudi Paguada Ruiz is still being held here at the Dallas County Jail on a $75,000 bond. Police are asking anyone if you know where Hector Paguada might be to give them a call immediately.